So this is the new Aston Martin DB11. It is a DB9 successor. And I think you'll agree it looks, I mean, it looks smoking hot. There is so much cool stuff about this car, especially underneath this massive clamshell bonnet. There's a 5.2 litre twin turbocharged V12. Downsizing, no downsizing here, bro. The boosted V12 is an all-new Aston Martin engine that produces 600 brake horsepower and 516 pound-foot of torque. It's the most powerful production DB model ever and will hit 62 in 3.9 seconds before hitting its 200 mile an hour top speed. The engine's also got bank activation to make it more efficient, but don't worry about it sounding naff. As you'll hear in a sec, this thing's noise is sexy as hell. And it's got loads and loads of really cool aero. We've got a strake here, which kind of channels air across and inside. There's kind of vents going in here, and then the air comes out here. And underneath here, it is ribbed for added pleasure. So the air kind of goes in, gets tickled. It's like, ooh, that's nice. And then it gets chucked out. We also have a cool air duct in the side here. So air goes in there, and then it gets chucked out of the rear here. So it's kind of a, a virtual spoiler, so you've got more downforce and, uh, and less drag. And this teeny tiny uh, boot spoiler lifts at about 90 miles an hour. At the rear, I mean, that, that just looks, that looks sexual. This, is, uh, this has been flagged for porn, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Now let's do the all important fist test. And yes, as you can see, I can pretty much fist this exhaust. And as we all know, an exhaust you can put your fist into is the sign of an awesome car. The brake discs up front are a massive 400mm six piston units, while the four piston rears measure a beefy 360mm. We've also got really nice big uh, multi-spoke 20 inch rims. They are 295, 35, 20 at the back and 255, 40, 20 at the front. Power is sent to the fat rear wheels via an eight-speed ZF gearbox that's mounted at the back, and the car sits on a set of adaptive Bilstein dampers. So this being a 2 plus 2 GT car, let's talk about practicality. The boot's big enough for many shoes and feather dusters, and inside there's plenty of space for activities. One of the really cool things about this car, and um, you'll have to excuse me, I'm quite a simpleton, but check this out. There's a button here. It's electric. The fit and finish inside is also a talking point, thanks to leather that smells good enough to smother in barbecue sauce and bite into, chopped carbon inserts, and a new infotainment system that's been co-developed with Mercedes. This is a good thing because it means you won't want to bludgeon it to death with a meat hook, as you do in other Astons. As for the seats, they're comfortable but could do with better bolsters. The price for all of this? If you're in the UK, you'll be looking at £155,000, while you guys in the US of A will need £212,000. So it isn't cheap, but when a car sounds as good as this, I don't think people really give a damn what it costs. So what do you guys think? Let us know below and make sure you download the Car Throttle app for way more Geneva content and general awesomeness. Cheers mate. No worries, mate.